Hello and welcome. Today I'm going over a small tutorial of an airband frequency scanner inside of SDR Angel. So we're going to be starting off on a blank page like so. And we're going to come up to workspaces here. We're going to initiate a new workspace. As you can see, we now have a workspace to begin with. Right here on Add Receive Device, we're going to click this and we're going to select our SDR. Once we have these two windows, we're going to make this one slightly larger. We're going to enter in here just some uh, predefined presets as long as it's within the airband range you'll be fine I'm going to add some DC we're going to set our host sample rate to 2400 we're going to set decibel to 1 decimation factor we're going to put our gain to 20 20.7 also fine you can uh, tweak with this depending on your position we're going to leave the time delay at zero and you can also pre-save you can save this one, one great thing about SDR Angel is that we can save a lot of presets that we make and we can put them in for later. Now let's move over to the GUI interface. I'll go as slow as possible because I think this will be the part where you pause and start a few times. Let's begin. We're going to turn on our grid. We're going to leave all these. I'm not sure what they will be for you, but these currently are unselected for me. We're going to be displaying a gradient style. Now, leave the waterfall and spectrum selected unselect display waterfall and select the 3D spectrogram and now you should see something similar to this we've outline and hon set the FFT to 4k For our averaging type, we're going to set it to fix. For the number of average samples, we'll set to 20. For our range decibels, we only need 80. But again, this can be customizable depending on what your objective is. For play and pause spectrum display, we're going to have play. And again, you can save the spectrogram data to a file. Now we'll toggle off all the controls. Now, inside of SDR Angel, we're going to come up to where we have the name of our SDR in this module. Now the icon to the left, add channels, select this. Now we'll be able to add demodulators. As you can see, SDR Angel comes preloaded with a lot of demodulators that you can uh, select. 
maybe we can go over some of these at a later date but today we're going to go over the frequency scanner we'll apply this and we're also going to add an AM demodulator and we'll apply it we'll close this we'll rearrange our windows this can be any position you like it doesn't have to be this way I'm just doing it for the sake of the video now that you've got all of that we'll start with the AM demodulator so we'll set it we'll set the demod shift to 2500 we'll leave these for the demodulator bandwidth we'll set to 20.5 For the volume, I always set it to 3 or 2.9, whatever you like. Again, you'll be adjusting this depending on what you're trying to achieve. For the squelch, we'll set this to 60 decibels, minus 60 decibels. Because then I find that we still pick up faint signals with background noise. But we can filter those out at a later date. Right. Now to the frequency scanner. We're going to come here to channel. We're going to go across to the drop down. And we're going to select RO1. You see here for the RTL SDR that we're using is RO. This spectrum analyzer is RO. So we're picking this. The frequency scanner is RO, and this is the first frequency scanner. Depending on how many SDRs you have plugged in, we're depending on these numbers here. We're going to leave power threshold minus 60. We're going to set the milliseconds from changing frequency to zero. Leave this at 1, 0 0.1, 2.0. 2500 max power peak now we need to add a range we're going to come down to here to add range now I already have a preset you depending on where you're at with SDR Angel you might not have presets and um, if you do have presets fantastic you already know what to do if you don't and you don't already have a preset no panic you can just start your frequency and have a stop frequency for this tutorial today we're working inside of the airband frequency so we're going to be going from 118 to 137 in steps of 2500 hertz now if you wait a small moment now we've loaded all of our frequencies that we're going to be targeting you'll notice we have many You'll notice that we have 761 frequencies that we're going to be scanning. The Achilles heel at the moment with uh, this frequency scanner is we have to, depending on where we are, it, the first initial setup for what you're trying to do is you are going to have to pre-scan the frequencies first and then come back to listening to them at a later date. Pay attention to the active counts this is when you'll th th this way you'll be able to see when you are actually getting hits so from this what we'll do now is we'll go to wh where the play button is and to the left where it says continuous we're going to scan only first what we'll do we'll just make this a little bit better we'll make it look a bit better Right, so now we're on scan only, we're going to press play. 
but first we're going to turn on the uh, the SDR over here okay perfect now you can see that we already have an operational frequency there but now we're going to come back to the frequency scanner and we're going to press play now depending on your location will depend on how long you have to leave this running I would recommend anywhere between one minute and five minutes but this will really depend on your current location so I'll leave this running for just a moment As you can see here on active count for 136 hertz we already have one pickup and we're doing it in steps of 2.5 as you can see so we already have one pickup there I would recommend not really scrolling while this is running depending on what system you're running just leave it as it is Okay, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to stop the scan now. Now, as you can see, currently as we stand, we have 761. This is a lot to go through if we were going to put it on, listen through everything. We'd have a lot of stop and starts. So we're going to come here to remove inactive. Click it. Now you can see we've gone to 15 hits this is a lot more manageable so where the play button is and where we were scanning only we're going to go over to continuous and we're going to press play when you have a constant tone like this in the beginning while you're setting up and customizing the scanner where the enable button is here just come down and click it Right, so for the sake of the video, I'm keeping it under 15 minutes, I'm going to stop. If you followed all the steps, you should have an ac active frequency scanner now to watch the airband frequency along with your other tracking methods for tracking aeroplanes in the hobby. I hope the video was helpful to you and until the next one.